What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. We are back from our break just in time for the release of 1.19, the wild update later this week, and we are kicking it off with some of our favorite viewer submissions of all time. First up today, we have Mr. Chips who has just an incredible 3000 day world. There are so many cool projects in here. We're really only going to show off a couple just in uh, this brief amount of time that we have but definitely go and check them out. All the links to everybody's videos will be down in the description below so you guys can go and check them out for yourself. Mr. Chips has such a cool world, so many different really cool builds and monuments throughout the world, it's really incredible. Next up, Golden Hawk, one of my all time favorite hardcore worlds. He's at 3000 days in this thing and has done an incredible amount of progress so far. Right here we have this amazing ocean base. This thing just looks so cool under the water here. He's also got this incredible temple right here covered in jungle trees. One of my favorite uh, temples of all time just because of that uh, use of foliage on the actual temple. He's got some projects in the nether as well. An amazing looking, I don't know what to call it, really castle mansion kind of combination here looks absolutely incredible. He's also got a huge nether perimeter as well. There's just so many different projects in this world to go through. And even the ones we show off today aren't all of them. There are a bunch more projects in this world and he does some crazy things like 10 wither battles on top of the nether roof. Things like this are so scary because this is a hardcore world. You could lose this world at literally any time. I do really highly recommend going and checking out these videos. They are so cool to watch to see the full world tours that they put out. Of course, Mr. Chip's world tour is so cool and Golden Hawks is really cool as well. It includes a lot of cinematics uh, that really showcase all the features of this world. Uh, the huge farmlands, the guard towers, just everything that is in this world. You can see right there is a wolf farm. Uh, basically just a rainbow sheep laying down which I think is such an interesting design. Really cool lamp posts around here as well. Just from these little details you can tell how good of a builder Golden Hawk really is. You can also see what looks like an iron farm working right there in the background. This world is really just a combination of different farms and really cool builds. Of course the nether perimeter that I mentioned before is to farm wither skeleton skulls and that has been very fruitful so far because you'll see here in a second, he has a ton of beacons all just kind of combined together on top of iron blocks because there is no shortage of iron in this world as well. I also really love this nether portal that we're looking at here. All the different purple combinations of glass, wool, concrete around here make this thing just look insanely cool as well. Next up we have Fab Gamers who has this amazing ocean monument transformation. This thing is so cool. I've mentioned before I absolutely love seeing just different types of quadrants and things in ocean monuments. I think it's a super interesting design idea and seeing it here it just looks so cool. Again there's some different uh, biomes built in here. Of course some nether biomes with some lava things like that. And then around on the other side, we've also got some end biomes as well. And then even some overworld biomes to fit in too. This is such a cool build. I've never seen anybody put a statue on the front like this ender dragon head right here. So it's definitely a very, very unique and interesting build. Next up, Razor Minecraft has an incredible hardcore world as well that just hit a thousand days or actually hit a thousand days kind of a while ago at this point. But this world has some amazing builds as well. We just kind of looked at a piece of the nether build and this was from the thousand day celebration. There's a lot of really cool projects on this world so definitely go and check out Razor Minecraft's channel as well and see all the projects that he has in his world tour. Next up is a build that we haven't featured yet on the channel before but this is a viewer submission that we got recently from Winter. This thing looks insane. I really love this style of building. I think it's a super interesting style. You see it a lot in Minecraft but every time you see it it seems just to be a little more unique and people are really putting their own twists onto these. The roof shape of these just look really amazing. That Asian style looks great and you can see that uh, they're also working on some, some bamboo and things like that to really give this place a 
very natural feel as well. And of course we have one of these sword nether portals, a classic build that I love seeing as well. Really ties in great with the rest of the build around here. And this little very nice Zen garden matches the vibe as well. Next up we have a bit of a different submission and this one was an incredible redstone design. This was by Drion and this is Conway's Game of Life. I actually really like this design. Uh, it's a super interesting uh, no player game. Basically what happens is that uh, there's a different set of rules for each of these squares and based off of those rules depends uh, on whether or not the lights will light up. Uh, it's super interesting game, there's a ton of different outcomes that can happen with it, and it's really cool that somebody went and built this entire thing inside of Minecraft. I'm definitely not super great with redstone, I can build some farms, some simple doors, things like that, but anything more advanced is super complicated to me, but things like this just absolutely blow my mind because I cannot imagine building this at all in Minecraft. So it really amazes me when I see builds like this in the game. Next up though, we have an amazing hardcore world that's coming along incredibly so far. We already saw we're looking at two ocean monuments here, or what appears to be ocean monuments. This one is a converted ocean monument, but this one right here was just hollowed out water that was then turned into an ocean monument, which I think is absolutely insane. Right here is the actual ocean monument that's producing the guardian farm, but Finnick actually plans to make a bunch of these rings of uh, the water that has been taken away and actually turn these into a bunch of incredible builds. And we have a better look of it here where you can see all the rings lined up, he's made them all out of dirt, and he's going through the process of actually clearing out the water from each of these. This one right here was not an ocean monument, but he went ahead and turned this thing into what looks like a transformed ocean monument and I think that is absolutely insane. He'll be building more of these around the area. You can see all the circles that are around here. And I'd actually like to see the progress he's made since because this was actually from a while ago when he first submitted this world. And it's been probably a month or two now, so there's probably been some more progress on this build. Next up though, we have Cravor, and this is the final showcase of the day. Cravor has done some amazing things in his hardcore world. He's actually a French Minecraft player, so go and check him out. He releases his videos both in French and then uh, some English style videos as well uh, for those who can't speak French, but his builds are so cool. I highly recommend at least going out and checking out his world tour just to see all the amazing things in this world. Anyways, that is all the time that we have for today. Minecraft Hub is back though. We took a little break there just to have some fun summer fun, but we are back now and uploading again. So come check out all these amazing worlds that we feature on the channel. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of our content. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.